Welcome everyone to this walkthrough video for the procurement project plan template that we've created at Entire Buyer. This plan will go some way to minimising the amount of time that you spend planning so you can focus on actually delivering your project. There's some very cool functionality and much of it's been automated. Here's the page for the plan itself where you can read a bit more around the key features and what can be achieved. And hopefully after watching this video you'll have some more reassurance around what you'll have access to over a very basic template that you could probably knock up yourselves. Once opened, you'll probably be asked to enable macros like I have been here and make sure you do so, otherwise the best stuff such as these, uh, these macro buttons here won't work. Now at first glance it might seem that there's a lot going on in this document but really, there's just a lot of functionality. And to make things easier, here, for example, I can hide specific columns. And throughout the document, there is guidance with cell comments and a separate tab for instructions on the left-hand side. But really, a good place to start is with the start date, funnily enough. And this is found in cell G5. Now, the whole plan and its timelines have been set up to run off that. So if I change this date by one month, for example, you'll notice that the start dates and the end dates in columns F and G are all moving accordingly, as are the timelines on the right hand side. So if I undo and redo, you can see the effect that this has on the timings. The red ruler on the right hand side is capturing today's date in cell G4 and the key dates at the top are useful for quick reference and these can be amended with ease by using alternative cell references and then the dates below are just using a simple VLOOKUP formula um, to, to return the corresponding end dates. Scrolling across to the right hand side we can quickly see how long each of the projects and each of the tasks are going to take. So this plan for example will take six months in total and this section 184 days. To amend tasks if we pan left again we can simply refer to the column headings which are in orange and these require editing. Those in grey don't. Now it's useful to note that the timelines in this plan only move due to one of two reasons. One being the dependent task in column H and two being the duration in work days in column J. Now duration is pretty self-explanatory but dependent tasks require that a preceding task is completed before it itself can be started. For example this is why you can see here that in row 15 task 1.4 is very much dependent on 1.3 so that the start date for 1.4 corresponds to the end date of 1.3. Completion rates in column I will determine whether sales turn a glowing green or not and this is really useful to establish where you are against plan. As far as adding new tasks go, you simply need to select the cell which you wish your task to be inserted above and click insert new task. Notice that when it appears it copies all the formulas which means it's far more efficient than simply inserting a new blank row so you don't need to faff around copying formulas afterwards. Now the task name and duration days are cleared so make sure you add these in afterwards. Obviously, if you've added a task in by mistake, you can select the undo button and the action will be reversed. Again, to insert a new task category, select the section which you wish to appear after your new category, click the button. It'll copy two additional rows, which is pretty useful stuff. Again, undo should you need. Now, here comes the best bit. By flagging your items as critical, this will mean that they'll be pulled through to the additional dashboard which comes free with this plan. So if for example I don't think that 
Row 17, benchmark rates, is a critical item. I can remove that status and assign it to maybe research other suppliers. And what this means is when I go to the dashboard tab and I click update, this will pull through all of the critical items and automatically associate a RAG status to them. Now I can override this if I wish, but it's calculated based on its completion. So if it's complete and it's due today or indeed overdue, it will be read. If it's due within five days of today's date, and it, then it will turn amber. And if it's complete or due in over five days time, it's green. Now obviously these thresholds can be amended, so feel free to get in contact if you need any help with that. But this dashboard is a quick way for you and your colleagues, or customers, or stakeholders to review where you are and what you've achieved to date. Elsewhere, you can see that the achievements can be tracked, next steps, as well as any issues you've come across or experienced. There is also a helpful savings calculator should you be running a procurement project but if you're not then this plan is completely unprotected so you can remove the logo change any cell contents or amend any formatting to customize it so that's it for our quick overview of the procurement project plan template should you wish to see more on how this plan looks um, when printed then feel free to visit the entire buyer website uh, and you can click here to see it in all its glory. Any questions, hit us up in the comments below. Uh, but we really hope that you crave the functionality on offer and attempted to download this. But thanks very much for watching and uh, good luck with your projects, people.